Welcome to this tour of a recent dinosaur excavation. My name is Dr. Constance Coy. I am a paleontologist. I live in Calgary, Alberta in Canada, which is very near Drumheller, which is a world-renowned site for dinosaurs. What we are doing today is the entirely new species of an extinct genus of Stephacanthus. So, let's walk forward and see what we can discover. I came to Scotland with my brother, Philip Coy. He's a golfing fanatic. I told him enough golfing. We're going to go visit the Hunterian Museum at the University of Glasgow. And when we get there, we're going to look at the Beerston Shark, which I've heard so much about. And certainly when we got there, you could see this extraordinary fossil in its entirety. This couple came in. They were having a sort of gossip session. And of course, we were sort of eavesdropping on what they were saying. A friend of theirs who had lived in Lumsden was a farmer. <laughs> One day he was on the land and he noticed this area where rabbits had dug into the ground. And what the rabbits had done, they exposed what might be a fossil. So, he was quite fascinated by that, but he didn't do anything about it. Well, I heard this from this couple and I said, Who is this guy? Oh, Robin Henderson. Where does he live? He lives in Lumsden. Can I have his phone number? Yeah! So I gained all the information. I was really excited. I dragged my brother into the rental car. I said, You're driving me to Lumsden. He was not too impressed. And when we got there, I found Robin Henderson. And so he took me, and we kind of avoided all the cows. He showed me this place. I looked there. I saw something quite extraordinary. Stephacanthus. The name is actually Greek. The translation is anvil sail. Anvil sail's description of the dorsal fin. Head here. We find these spine brush fibers. They radiate up the back. They're spikes. They're tendrils. And evidently, they have something to do with the swimming ability of sharks. But a new conclusion has come to light, and they believe that these two devices here are actually used by the male sharks in mating with females. So here we have the devices for the intercourse of ancient sharks designed to grab. Nowadays, evidently sharks engage in courtship rituals. The male sharks actually nip the flanks of the female sharks as a form of seduction. Dr. Constance Coy's recent unveiling of the dinosaur, Megastethacanthus, along with her hypothesis of its genetic continuity with the Bearstead shark, is appalling. Really? Evolving only through vast shrinkage of scale. Preposterous. <laughs> uh... But this critter, and the Beerson sharks, and the other ones that are found, often made their demise in a muddy territory, which actually protects and preserves the cartilaginous material. And that's why we can see what we see here now, because of the protection of the shark's interior anatomy. I want to thank you all for coming on this tour. Certainly you can wander around. I would avoid stepping on the fossil itself. Robin Henderson would like to leave it in the land, and it's not going to a museum like the Beardston. It will be left here, in its initial site. So, if you have any questions, please ask. And, yeah. Make your way around, and thank you very much for coming. <laughs>